beast here with a fun faux welcome plaque. So this is actually made out of foam and ink, even though it looks kind of like wood or stone. Um, this is a really easy, fun project to do. So you need a six by 12 piece of smooth foam. And what I'm doing here is coating it with some acrylic paint. And this is going to kind of act like my gesso to pre-treat um, the foam. You don't have to pre-treat it, but this kind of gets rid of that stark white right away so that it makes it a little bit faster when applying the ink. So here I'm using a Colorbox blending tool to apply some Colorbox chalk ink to my canvas, as it were, um, made out of smooth foam. So the nice thing about smooth foam is it takes ink really nice. So I'm just blending and adding more layers of ink to give this some dimension and some really nice color. Um, after I did the inking, I'm using a roller graph stamp wheel and some color box crafters ink with this script wheel to kind of add some texture. And then I'm going to go back in with a postage stamp. It's a faux postage stamp roller graph wheel and some Donna Salazar uh, mixed media inks to add a little bit more texture. Now the heat gun, if you heat the smooth foam with it, it will melt. So you can see that I actually have some melting here. I wanted that. It gives it this kind of stone like texture, which is super cool. Um, here I'm using one of our art screens from Colorbox to ink like a little pattern there with some Donna Salazar uh, mixed media inks. And then I'm also using this stencil with some of our sprays to kind of give this like pretty Dahlia sunflower shape um, there on the canvas. And again, what's great about the screens is you can just wipe them off with a paper towel. Um, you can wash them in the sink too, but they wipe off real nice with a paper towel. And then I have this scrap of lace and I'm just kind of cutting some little circles out of it and hot gluing those onto my canvas there to make it look really nice. Um, this gives it some more dimension and again, a little bit more body so that it feels more like a really true home decor piece. Um, people aren't going to know this is foam until they get right up on top of it. I'm also using some uh, flowers. I have some felt flowers I made, some beaded sprays, and I'm using some spray ink um, to kind of just make that all blend together, give it a little bit of a antique vintagey, vintage -y weathered look. Um, you can also use the spray ink to do some splatters on that smooth foam. So spray ink works, your regular ink pads work, paint, all kinds of things work really great on the smooth foam surfaces. Now again, I'm just using my hot glue gun to put everything together and using some of that ink. What I did is sprayed some ink onto my craft mat there and then kind of pressed the flowers into it. So that gives them this kind of aged, like weathered, trampled on look. <laughs> um, here again, I have a felt flower that's super bright. So I'm using some of that Colorbox Spritzers spray ink to change the color. Um, again, going in with hot glue to glue things down. And what's nice is that if you wanted to move stuff, you can kind of peel it up off the smooth foam to move it around if you decide that you don't like the way that it, um, where, where you placed it or whatever. I put a little felt butterfly on there that's super cute and then I stamped the words welcome um, with some more color box crafters ink and then heat set that because the crafters ink is a pigment ink so it will smear if you don't heat set it. So I hope you enjoyed this craft. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and visit our website for more crafty goodness. Bye! Mm -hmm.